Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Hopefully you had a safe Memorial Day weekend. I'm into Sarf Faulkner bringing you what's new this morning. Starting, starting off with our top stories this morning, a man killed in a drive by shooting in Sumter. This is under investigation after a fatal shooting at the intersection of Green Swamp Road and South Ginyard Drive early yesterday morning. 32 year old Tavarius McFadden was stopped at a traffic light when a white sedan pulled up and fired shots before speeding away. McFadden died at the scene. A $5,000 reward is available for anyone who might have any information leading to an arrest. Meanwhile, in the upstate, the mother of a woman who went missing while tubing on Lake Greenwood is speaking out as officials continue the search. 30 year old Sergeant Portia Griffin went tubing with three other people this past Saturday. Officials say the three other people are now safe, but Sergeant Griffin is still missing. Officials have been searching Lake Greenwood for about three days now. Her mother, Amika Griffin, says she's still holding out hope that her daughter will be found. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn more information about this developing story. That lunch was really good. Yeah, you know, it really was, but I'm just kind of feeling a little itchy and I'm not really sure. There's a test for that. Choose your test, choose your time, get your answer. Call 803-769-8100 or go to anylabtestnow.com. Continuing coverage this morning of a story, story out of Irmo. This morning at the Irmo Town Park, the town will host a ceremony to unveil a memorial dedicated to first responders. This comes just days after the one year anniversary of Irmo firefighter James Muller's passing. The ceremony will honor the brave men and women who serve the community as firefighters, police officers, and EMS personnel. That ceremony is set to begin this morning at 10 a.m. A big announcement for a major cell phone service company this morning. T-Mobile is buying U.S. Cellular's wireless operations and certain spectrum assets in a $4.4 billion deal. Well, this all comes after just last week when the wireless company says they sent out notifications about a price increase on monthly bills between $2 to $5. Also this morning, a ribbon cutting ceremony for Columbia's newest affordable housing development has been announced. That new housing development being called Haven at Congaree Point. The apartments will feature nearly 200 units for those 55 and older who earn 60% of median income or below. Those apartments are located at 2401 Atlas Road, just off of I-77. That ribbon cutting ceremony will be happening this afternoon at one o'clock. Of course, we'll have the latest updates on that on our website. For all the latest news, weather and traffic updates, be sure to visit WISTV.com. Have a great day.